welcome back at the end of this video you should be able to construct on a regular polygon when giving the length of all sides and their location the information for constructing this polygon is as given it's, it's extremely important that you represent the written information in a graphical form. First thing to note is that a pentagon has five sides. So it's important to sketch that first. A pentagon has five sides. A, B, C, D, and point E. Very important to represent this information firstly. Once you have done this, fill in these given information, those dimensions. AB is 50 millimeters. BC 40. CD CD is 40. A C A C seventy A D E D E sixty A E fifty B E B E eighty B to E eighty. So these are all very important information. So it's important to have this information written down somewhere. All right. So let me draw this over to this side. The first step to construct this pentagon is to start by drawing a random length horizontal line. to identify point A from point A measure 50 millimeters label that point B so AB 50 millimeters BC is 40 millimeters and BC we have no angle for for um angle a b c so uh it means therefore that BC has a radial distance of 40 millimeters from B and also a radial distance of 70 millimeters from A so we must scribe two arcs at point B and also at point C at a point where both radial distance meet is our point C. So the first thing is to open a compass to 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters. From here, scribe an arc. So this is the first radial distance, 40 millimeters. A C A C is 70 millimeters from here. So we readjust your compass to 70 millimeters. From point A, scrap an arc to cut the previous to draw an arc. At the point where both arcs meet, that's our point C.
you might want to go ahead and join B to C. The next step is to move on to C, D. C, D is 40 millimeters. D, again, has a radial distance of 40 millimeters from C. And also, it has a radial distance here of 60 millimeters. So, for time being, I'm going to draw. It's always good to draw the side that you have all the information for first. That helps you to solve the unknown side. So based on where things now stand, I have to continue from point B. Because at, at point A, sorry, at point A, I know AE, I know that AE is 50. I also know that BE is 80 millimeters. So I have two radial distance for point E. Again, from here to here, from here to here, it's 50. So E is 50 millimeters at some radial distance at, up, up from this point, and also 70 millimeters at some radial distance from B. So we're gonna use A and B as center to get point E. So the first step is to open my compass to 50 millimeters. Using A as center, scribe an arc. So this is my first radar distance, which is 50 millimeters away from my center, which is A. Next, we adjust your compass to 80 millimeters. 80 millimeters and 80 millimeters is the radial distance from point B. So B to E is 80 millimeters. So we use B as center, square an arc to cut the pre the, the last arc that we drawn, we have drawn, which is this arc here. At the point where both arcs meet, that's our point E. Point E. Now that we have identified or established point E, you might want to go ahead and plot A to E. Now, on to the last point, point D. D has a radial distance of 60 millimeters from E. It also has a radial distance of 40 millimeters from C. So to do that, we can start at either at E or at point C. Let's start at E. E is 60 millimeters. At D is 60 millimeters from E. So open your compass to 60 millimeters. With E as center. Scribe your first radar arc. Then readjust your compass to CD, CD, which is 40 millimeters. So again, CD, D is 40 millimeters from C and 60 millimeters from E. So using C as center, scribe my arc. At the point where both arcs meet is my point D. Next step is to plot D to E. C to D. And that's pretty much the figure right there. Pretty much the figure.